Hello Virgos. This is an X reading for the 3rd through the 9th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see guys what's going on for you and your X. Let's see. Guys, please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Excuse me. Ooh. Feeling emotionally, emotionally stable, I feel like. Um, could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces individual. That's significant here as well. Somebody that loves you. I feel. Oh, okay. There's somebody here that has gone through um, a breakdown. This is a breakdown in a relationship. Maybe, um, maybe they were fired from a job. Strong Scorpio here that you, you're possibly dealing with Virgos, okay? Um, this is somebody that loves you. Somebody that loves you wants to take care of you. Let's see where you are right now. But there's something that they have gone through. Maybe you broke up with them before in the past. Maybe this is like... Maybe this is like an XX, like you guys broke up, you got back together, and you broke up again. But they love you. Let's see what's going on. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like maybe you guys are back together or just have gotten back together with someone. Or either this is just you, um, you know, just trying to stabilize your family. Um, maybe you have children that are in college, um, you know, high school, something like that, and just trying to, you know, just keep everybody, you know, good is what I'm feeling. This is you also working on your finances. There's something you're striving towards here, I feel. And, I mean, it has something to do with a relationship, but it also has something to do with um, a financial aspect in your life, okay? I think this, the person you're dealing with is trying to, I get the feeling they're trying to face their demons is what I'm hearing. And what I mean by that is... Whatever broke you guys up before in the past, I feel like it happened, they feel like, because of them. And they're really trying not to um, let anything like that happen now, is what I'm getting. It's like they're taking responsibility for themselves, is what I'm feeling. Which is good. Leo energy there. Let's see what you guys want. Yeah. I feel like either you want to offer something to someone or someone has offered something to you. I almost get the feeling that you guys want to, for some of you, get married for sure. For some of you, you're just wanting, um, you're wanting this person to truly take initiative this time, I feel. What that means for you, I think only you know. Um, Sometimes you can have a lazy boyfriend or a lazy girlfriend or a lazy husband, lazy wife. And what I mean by that is, you know, you can be with someone and they really not give any effort. Just being together is enough for them. And I, I strongly feel like you want somebody to take the initiative. Let's say what they want. They want true love. They want you. This person really loves you, Virgos. They feel like you guys are meant to be. They feel like you're meant to be here. And I think you feel the same. I think you're a little more, um, you're a little more logical and, um, strategic about things 
and I think they are struggling to match you is what I'm getting I think there's a need for you to match them a little bit To be a little more loving, to show a little more love, I think that's the need here, for you to show a little more love. Show that you care about them. Show that you are excited about them. Okay, now we have the, the King and the Queen of Cups. For sure, that is a couple. Hmm. Let's see what they need. They need to chill out. That's what I'm getting. I feel like they are nervous about messing up with you. That's strongly what I'm getting. They need to kind of just let things, you know, proceed like in a normal fashion. They need to calm down a little bit. Just let things just let things happen. Let them be. Let it be. Let's see what the outcome is here. Hmm. I see you walking away, but what are you walking away from? Piscean energy. I, I strongly think that there's a need for you to open up and be more emotional, but I think for some reason that's hard for you. I think it's hard for you to really extend yourself like that for some reason. I don't know what happened here, and it may be because of um, whatever happened between you and this individual in the past that, you know, you're not comfortable with, you know, really extending yourself here. You would rather walk away than to open yourself up to that type of vulnerability is what I'm getting. But there is love here. Let's see what the outcome is for them. The magician. I feel like if this person, your ex, does not chill out a little bit. Um, it's almost like you guys are like, you're fighting against each other, but you're not trying to. Because I think one of the issues with this connection is that your ex is possibly not it's possibly, like I said before, like a lazy boyfriend, girlfriend, what have you, whatever the situation is. They don't show a lot. They're just happy to be in the connection because they feel like loving you is enough. And you that's not what you want and you're definitely not opening up enough um, allowing yourself to be vulnerable because this is how you feel about them like they're not they're not really doing much to make you want to open up and you know be all emotional so there is a there is a tendency that you will have to want to leave this behind.
and this person's gonna try with all of their might to stop you and I don't mean like physically stop you but I feel like they're gonna do all that they can to smooth things over with you but I think there's probably a need I see no air here other than the six of swords moving away into a calmer state of being but I see no conversing here I see no wands here no action being taken so I think there is a conversation that needs to be had if you guys are trying to get back together an honest communication that needs to be had about you know what expectations you guys have for each other for the relationship what I feel okay in order for this to progress and you guys be together because there is real love here there is the potential for a solid um, connection a solid relationship even a marriage possibly because I mean you're showing up here as a king and queen of cups okay with the two of cups smack dab in the middle so this this is something that's good could ha that has potential but um, it needs to be worked on okay so my Virgos that's what I have for you guys and I'll be speaking with you soon